Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number three. And looks like we slipped down to tier three after two losses. No surprise there. Uh, we're going up against an alliance called Asgardians. All right. So let's see. Who did they ban? All right. <laughs> they banned. Uh, I wonder if he's going to be the next uh, globally banned. Um, Hulkling, Venom, and Hercules. Ah, we slipped down to three. So now. Corvus is not globally banned. Oh, snap. Oh, it's on. I was about to, I looked to see um, who he had assigned for me. And I was about to say, Corvus is globally banned. Yeah, only when we're up there at uh, tier two. All right. So Corvus is coming. All right, let's... um. See what we got going on over here. Okay. So. All right. So we got Scorpion. Oh, and we have uh, Gilly. All right. Future Ant-Man and Guardian. Hmm. All right. So Magneto does very well against that uh, Future Ant-Man. And he does have me assigned to that. And it looks like uh, Magneto can handle both of these two as well. So, let me see. Who did he have me assigned? All right. So, um, yep, Magneto. He has me taking both of these with Magneto. I approve. Then for section two, Magneto again, which um, I, I remember we talked about that before. Uh, Magneto is, is beautiful for future Ant-Man on that node. So again, and then we have a Guardian, and that's going to be Corvus. That's going to be fun. And for the mini, he has me, um, oh, what did I just do? Uh, there we go. Uh, for the mini, I am going to be fighting uh, Red Skull. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The problem with that... Let me see. Red Skull. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Maybe I read that one wrong. Yep. I Wait, no. I didn't. He's got me going up against two minis. Okay, so I'm taking this red skull. Why am I taking this red skull? He has me taking that red skull with uh, Corvus. But why? I'll have to ask because... Uh, let me see. Yeah. Corvus is not, um, incinerate or poison immune. Yeah. I mean, I can definitely get him down with, um, with the, the right buffs and everything, you know, but that still is not a great matchup for him. Uh, a better matchup would be uh, this one here for Corvus. Uh, but the other mini he has is uh, this Mysterio. 
That stunning reflection is so annoying. And polka dot power, again, relying on, I really don't like relying on um, the boosts because that's what it will take to uh, get this down. You know, not he's not the perfect counter for it. But if I do, like, say, um, you know, advanced power boost, then I can do it. And I've done it before. You know, he won't gain any, um, he won't gain any uh, power, but that advanced power boost will give me at least one special that I can use. So, hmm, yeah, that one uh, definitely we need to boost. But this uh, this red skull again, he can do it, but I'll boost up. You know, I'll have to boost up um, and basically just try to get him rush before you know i go down i don't really like that because it'll go uh, yeah all right well that's what it's looking like right now i will tell him my reservations uh we will be able to get a um a charge let me see is he is he an avenger I'll have to look, but I know we, we definitely will get um, one charge. Guardian does have the auto block, so we might be able to get another charge off of him. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that works. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. I'm going in with Magneto, Proxima. And Corvus. Proxima, of course, is for the synergy to get True Strike because Corvus is not clarity or anything like that. But as long as you have True Strike, you're good. All right. And I love it because even though it's not fun losing, uh, you know, wars, because we're in tier three, Corvus is not globally banned in tier three in tier two he is so this is my chance to actually use corvus in war and later on you're going to see why he's globally banned and i'm surprised that they did not ban him even though he's not globally banned i'm surprised they didn't ban him all right so i am uh gonna boost up now <clears throat> i want you to know why it looks like I'm just scrolling through these boosts because I'm looking for a particular boost. And I was looking for that boost icon because it had a different icon than it looked like here. So I'm looking around for that icon and I eventually I realized that it's just the regular boost, the 20 percenter. Um, see that right there, that 20 percent attack and, and health boost. That's it. But I was looking at a different icon and I was like, where is it? Where is it? That was it. So I'm like, okay. Don't know uh, why they had two different icons for the same boost, but, you know, maybe just to confuse me. You know, I kept looking down here because I was like, maybe it was one of these, you know, the Alliance War boosts. But no, it wasn't. It, it's just that regular boost, that regular old 20 percenter. All right, now we can finally get to the fighting. So we have a House of Mirrors Scorpion. I believe he's House of Mirrors. And it doesn't really matter. See how he has the auto block right there? Once he's magnetized, uh, from what I understand, he cannot auto block or evade while magnetized. Now, because of the way that we tend to use uh, Magneto, which is parry heavy. We don't have to worry about that anyway because I'm only hitting him when he is stunned. But look at this damage. 
He's at 44% health. And I'm just parrying and heavying. That's it. Look at this. Parry heavy. That's it. I'm trying to bait this out because I don't want any shenanigans to happen when, you know, I'm pushing him to a special three. And instead of me being able to hit my special three, he hits his special three instead. This has happened before. So I'm not taking any chances. Better to just play it safe. But Magneto, this Magneto is SIG 200. He's ascended. And I'm actually thinking about taking him to rank five. But as you can see, do I need to take him to rank five? He is ascended. Do I need to take him to rank five? Look what he's doing already. You know, he's taking on, uh, you know, uh, seven stars, rank twos, all this good stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if he actually needs uh, to be rank five. So I'm going to chill out on that for right now until I start fighting someone. And I'm like, OK, wait, this fight is taking way too long with him at um, rank four ascended. Maybe I need to give him another rank, you know, but the fact that they're magnetized is something else. Now, with this fight here, uh, I was supposed to use Magneto for it. That was who it was assigned. But I was trying to get the auto block to fire off because I know I'm going to need uh, Corvus later on and I want him to have True Strike. Look at it. I'm like, really? And so I'm like, okay, there's a, an evade. Let me try to do that. Nope. Won't evade. Went Digicloak. And I'm just like, wow. And I was surprised. I was like, oh, yeah, they're running the ouchies. Couldn't tell because, you know, um, she's immune to bleed and poison. So I'm like, well, I just lost like half of his health for nothing. Couldn't get the um, auto block. And I do want it. Believe me, I want it. Um, it'll make things much easier later on. But that guardian up there uh, is who... Corvus was assigned to fight. Everybody else was Magneto. So this fight, you see me do it if you've been watching uh, some of the other uh, war videos. Anytime they put him there, it's either Magneto or Gladiator. Both of them do quite well against future Ant-Man on this node. So... For them to really get me in a bind, one of those would have to be globally banned, and then they ban the next one, and I'll still find somebody else. Like, um, Terax, I think, uh, could do it. Um, CGR, if he's not globally banned, that is, who, which he is in a tier two. But, uh, but this is pretty, a pretty straightforward, uh, fight now as long as I have uh, Magneto. And look at his health. This is a rank four, you know, six star Magneto. And he's pretty tanky. And obviously I'm not gonna take him into just any old fight. It's gotta be ones where, you know, he's fighting against a metal champion. So he's got extra because they're magnetized. All right, so now I'm thinking, all right, I didn't get the true strike, but this is my chance to get that true strike going, which will make some later fights much easier. And so I'm like, all right, he better auto block. <laughs> See how I, I waited right there? Bam, there's the auto block. I'm like, yes, heavy attack. Bam, now I got true strike. Now it's on. Look at that, auto block failed, auto block failed. Didn't that look pretty? Look at this, look at this. Mm, nasty with it. And that's one of the reasons that he is banned globally. But there's more. Because now, Corvus is going to have some fun. Now, the reason he gets two strike, by the way, if you guys don't already know, that's what Proxima is there for. If they auto block or evade, and I knock them down, special or heavy attack, then 
he gets a true strike. And then it's on. All right, so I waited until the uh, next fight after this one was cleared. And I was a little worried about this fight because you see it's incinerate and poison, right? And he's immune to stun. And I'm like, why did he assign me this one with Corvus? I mean, I know Corvus can do it. You know, even though they're stun immune, doesn't mean you can't parry them, by the way. Your parry will still work, and it will do what it needs to do, a.k.a. armor breaks with Corvus, but they won't get stunned. That's all. And as long as you know that, then you can act accordingly. If you don't know that, it'll trip you up. You'll parry, and then you'll try to do something, and they're already attacking you. So I'm boosting up. Uh, and I'm thinking not just this fight, but the next fight that I'm going to have. And that next fight, it's not really a bad fight, but I never liked it. Um, but this fight here, I'm like, okay, let's um, let's make sure we boost up. Got 150% power back boost and a nice 12 percent because I had a bunch of those. And then... I did an advanced, uh, I think I did an advanced power boost. Now, see this right here? Did you see what just happened? I hit it, and nothing happened. And I went, oh, no, 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 no. We're not playing that. Let's um, uh, restart this game. I was not playing around. I hit the next node, and it just stood there. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to go into this fight with the game acting like that. So right now, I know I have another fight to do. And I'm like, man, I wanted that um, boost to last this fight and the next fight. I hope I can finish this fight, you know, um, before that boost runs out. All right. So my plan here is to parry and then just take all those blocked hits. He'll have armor breaks and then go to town. All right, see, there you go. Armor breaks. I did the parry. And then now, look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Boom, boom. Bam. And this is why Corvus is globally banned. You think I did it quick enough that my boost didn't run out, even though I had to reboot the game or restart the game? That was, what, a 12-second fight? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, now I got to do this uh, Mysterio. He's also stun immune. And worse, if I do try to stun him, it's going to come back to me. And Corvus is not stun immune. All right? See that stunning reflection? And you got polka dot power. Now, I've done this fight before. So I'm already familiar with it. You know, it's not one that I like, but I'm familiar. So uh, even though he's not going to gain any power because of the polka dot look at this the advanced power boost gave me one bar of power and i can still hit into his block and do damage look at this we're just chewing him up all right and there we go now my advance uh the power back boost didn't help any you know but i did start with one so i had at least one special that i could do look at that evade failing because i got true strike and him with his special one spam. But we got it. We just wait this out. Mm-hmm. Wait it out. Yep, yep, yep. And now we're back. We got four charges left. Bam. <laughs> he ain't want to attack, so I come to you. So not a bad fight at all. I just don't like stunning reflection and all that good stuff. Uh, but anyway, that is all of my fights uh, in this war. I went ahead and tagged them to let them know the boss was open. So we'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out just how this war ended. We're back, and as you can see, we won this war. This is the first war of the season that we've won. This is the third war. We've lost the first two. Now we've got this. We're tier three. I don't know if we're going to be tier two the next war. Kind of hoping we aren't. Um, but we did very well. Look at our attack bonus. 
We did very, very well. Okay. Shout out to our MVPs. Uh, they were killing it. Uh, very shortly after I told them the boss was open, he had the boss down, no deaths whatsoever. And I'm like, hey, I like this. Uh, so anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Corvus is a menace, isn't he? And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight, he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Prime.